Alright guys, welcome back. Now, so far we have learned how to accept input from the user in various ways. But now, what do we do with this input? Now, whenever you want to submit a form to a file on the server to process the inputs, we are going to be using a submit button. So, to have a submit button, we are going to have an input but this time the type is going to be equal to submit and let's say the value is going to be submit Now this submit is what is going to be appearing on the button so when you save it and reload it you have a submit button now when you click on it nothing happens right now because here's the thing the font tag the font tag takes an attribute called action and the value for this action is the file on the server that needs to be where we need to navigate to to process this input so we haven't learned any scripting language but this action usually has something like a file.php where you take this input from the form and then process it in some kind of way and then provide an output or anything but right now we haven't learned all that so we are going to be having the action attribute set to blank save it and when you reload it when you click on the submit button nothing happens but just keep in mind that you need a submit button to submit a form onto the server now it is also possible to have a reset button for our form so the type is going to be reset and the value let's say why not call it reset again when you save it, reload it, we're going to have a reset button. It does nothing right now, but here's the thing. When you provide a lot of input and click on the reset button, it is going to reset all your input controls. So check it out. Reset, and it all goes back to the default settings. Now, one final thing is that it is also possible to have a button on your form so input type is equal to button and let's say value is equal to click me when you save it you have a button called click me which absolutely has no use whatsoever but just keep in mind that it is also possible to have buttons now this brings us to the end of forms so a form is used to accept input from the user and there are a whole lot of ways in which you can accept input from the user. Then we have a submit button to submit a form. We have a reset button to reset a form. And we also have general buttons which can be used to you know, trigger some kind of a JavaScript. But anyway, we have not learned any of those. And yep, that's it for now. And in the next video, we are going to start learning how to style our web pages. Ah, uh, I just remembered that we we kind of ditched our friend's web page. Sorry about that. But hopefully, you can create your own awesome website with what you've learned so far in HTML. And from the next video, let us see how we can style your web pages. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned.